How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shining Force. We got the Chaos Breaker. At last, the Chaos Breaker. You must go to Runefaust now. See Mahato there. He is honest and can help you. Okie dokie. Long ago, Josh, the ancients founded the cities of Guardiana and Runefaust. Though back then, Runefaust was called Protectora. Where was I? Oh yes. Guardiana held the western gate of the ancients, while Protectora held the eastern. Though Protectora has fallen into evil hands, the gate remains and still functions. Dark Soul entered the castle of the ancients through the eastern gate. You must enter Runefaust and fight your way to the gate. Good luck, Josh. Listen to Otrant. Dark Dragon must remain sealed or the world is doomed. Okay, well, before we do anything else, we have some people to resurrect. You can bring my dead people back. Raise the mighty one. <coughs> Pardon me. That caught me off guard and I wasn't able to mute the mic. Okay. So the dead are risen. Let's go back. I guess we are ready to go. Oh, before I forget, again. We has one other thing to do while we're here. Been weapons of Where's the weapon shop? Where's the weapon shop at now? Headquarters, weapons and armor. Okay, here's the item, dude. Let's take a look really quick. Demons. Nothing today. What's he got? A demon rod. Yeah, no thanks. And I definitely don't need a broadsword. I need a great axe. Hold on. Okay, let's re equip him. Okay, let's head south. Hopefully we don't get another world map battle. Of course. To the south is Runefaust. Their army approaches. You must fight your way in. We got some demon mages. Let's see here. 
Armored Skeleton, Cerberus, High Priest, Minotaur, Horsemen, more Minotaurs. Some more Skeletons, another Minotaur. So yeah, at this rate, this is going to be a somewhat boring episode. Whoa! Ow! Skull takes a crit, ow! New K takes 15. That wasn't good. the next demon master.
gets hit back up to 24. Jameis. And misses. These two should be enough. Skull makes 14, defense plus 4, speed plus 1, max HP plus 6, max MP plus 3. for servers. And a double strike! Jugar kills it. The horseman attacks Jugar. One damage to our mighty tank. I actually leave the healer entering the fray. And here comes the other servers. Jameis attacks the Minotaur. 
21 damage. And a double strike from Jameis slays the Minotaur. First horseman. And that's a one shot. <laughs> Woo! All of a sudden, we are just tearing stuff up. Let's freeze three this Cerberus skull. See if you can crit and continue the one shot kill. Nope, 20 damage. Skeleton attacking Doom K. With apparently a machine gun built into its chest. Jungar attacks the horseman. That shot him. Crit! 50 damage! Holy crap! Those things just have no defense. And there's level 14 for Jungar. Defense plus 2. Horseman shoots at Doom K. This could hurt. Yep, that hurt. 20 damage. Doom K is almost down. Cerberus attacks Skull. 17 damage as it breathes flame at us. That kind of hurt too. Jameis attacks the last horseman. Thirty-one damage in a one shot. Those things obviously do not have the highest of defense. Jameis makes sixteen. Attack plus one, defense plus six. He can use that. Okay, let's try out our new toy, shall we? our ranges here. Yeah, she uses the Chaos Breaker. Looks like it's a um, more powerful freeze. I don't think it's freeze four. Whatever it was, it worked. This is the part where Doom K falls back. Freeze three. Fourteen. Fourteen. No, sixteen. This will probably be the death of Skull. This will be the death of Skull. Skull is down. Vex is attack. And 
Vex makes level 15 for 2 defense, 3 speed. Cerberus attacks Jungar. Flames envelop Jungar for 17 damage. Now let's heal three Junge here. can finish topping him off. I mean, Sigmar, not Jungar. Sorry, Sigmar. I'm tired. Jungar attacks the Cerberus. 23 damage. Let's break in your new axe. Thirteen damage. Dead armor skeleton. And let's test out the Chaos Breaker. Yep, I'd say it's strong. 30 damage. Dead armored skeleton. Cerberus comes over to attack Jemus. Jemus is going to go forward to get that last one. He tags Vex. Vex takes 17. Gendal. Vex attacks. Cerberus takes 19. this one off. And he misses. That's just what we needed. Backs up to help with Jameis. And this one's going to get to attack Josh. Josh quickly evades. Sigmar, you may kill the Cerberus. The Wind Slasher attacks. Deadly attack deals 22 points of damage, finishing off the Cerberus. And Jameis attacks the gate wield and covering armor skeleton. 
Deals 20 damage. I don't know if we're going to have to kill those two or not. Kind of moving into position to kill them in case we do. Jameis attacks again. And the armed skeleton falls. Now Josh into Runefaust. That ended the battle. The Shining Force is now in a desperate race against time. Dark Dragon is awakening. And that is the end of Chapter 7, The Lost Civilization. And as always, this seems about as good of a place as any to go ahead and wrap things up. So we will do so. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you may have in the comments below. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play Shining Force. Farewell.